How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Guess what just happened? Literally every creator's worst nightmare. <laughs> Not the worst. Pretty close, though. So, here I am recording for a second time. Because I made a video, and it was actually kind of long. And talked about a lot of stuff at the end of the book and ideas. And... I was going to edit the video right after, which I some a lot of times like I have things recorded and I have to edit them, that type of thing. But I knew I was going to st start editing right after. Um, I'm actually uh, have been down and sick due to COVID, which has kind of put things behind on schedule. And what sucks with I've had the, I had it a year ago and it was really awful. And this time, you know, it's not fun either. Just being, you know, this time I'm just generally feel sick. But what's weird about it this time is it like comes in waves, and like I'll I'll feel fine for a bit, and then I just feel terrible. Um, I think the nice thing this time compared to last time is I don't have crazy fevers. That's what really hindered me last time. This time I just you know will feel groggy and whatnot, and you know, and just not feel well. Um, and so I recorded the video, and I was actually feeling you know pretty good and all that, and was editing, and then I wasn't like feeling that good, and then I realized I had to film film this over again. So. Uh, I chilled for a bit and I uh, feel a little bit better now. So, but here I am again to record this a second time. So, um, I'm assuming I'm probably going to be pretty quick with certain things. I'd, I kind of know what I want to say about certain things already that, uh, that I said them, but we'll, we'll get through it. Uh, um, I definitely want to talk a bit about Niagara. I've never looked through it at all before. Um, it's actually, Alex was one of my, you know, I mean, he's top two, top three, top five, top three, probably. I don't know what he is, but he's up there with my favorite photographers. I, He's definitely, um, I think he's the biggest inspiration how I like to think about photography in general. Um, not really how I photograph. I think our styles are not similar, um, but the process, and I'm talking about like, making things process i think is very similar and um but actually completely different at the same time i'm the person who likes to shoot a lot my my brain just likes photography i think about it all the time and he probably does too i don't know but i know he has said that he you know doesn't shoot all the time you know he he'll embark on a project type of thing and i'm not quite like that um i kind of just can't do that um with life scheduling and um, if I did that, I wouldn't be photographing much at all. Um, but anyways, Niagara is a, a project and a book of his that I've just never really called to me as an, I, I mean, I've never looked at it, never ordered it, never, you know, seen it. I've seen a bunch of photos online, you know, some of his popular stuff is in this book. Um, and I was really excited to look through this just like I was with Broken Manual last week. And so after going through this for the first time, Literally tonight, and I went through it twice. But the first time I went through it was earlier, and it, it kind of, um, <clears throat> uh, well, what's the right word to say? Um, it confirmed my thoughts where I knew I kind of wouldn't be that into it. and it, I, But I do like some of the photos in it. Like, that's one thing I want to say. And, and I was actually really, it, when I was going through this earlier, it took me to the end to kind of say this statement. But I want to say it now is the nice thing about this book series project, I'm not trying to, I don't want to always be like, oh, this is great. This is great. This is great. It'd be just like, you know, I, I actually want to have some conversation. Like, you know, why, why doesn't this, why doesn't this series, you know, why isn't this as um, awesome to me as it is like the dispatch series or whatever. Some people might think Niagara's is best work compared to something else. I think that's the beauty of photography is everyone has their, you know, thoughts and their preferences and all that. And, but there's photos in here that I think are truly amazing. And I think that's like a lot of photo books, right? There's, you know, there's always, um, I always like to look at this in skateboarding terms. When someone makes, when a skateboarder makes a skateboarding video part for, you know, makes a video of him skating, it's edited up. A skateboarder will have certain tricks in mind that they want to do that's like 
the hard tricks like going down a large set of stairs and a handrail that's you know that's like their main tricks that's in their part that they're so hyped on they got that photo in the magazine from it but then they have the smaller tricks which in skateboarding terms you call it filler and and i think all photo books are that way they have to be because no one's making a photo book where every single photo is a giant hand stair you know a handrail down some stairs um every photographer wants that and and that's the you know that'd be great but i think there's always going to be those photos that complement another thing and that's also with skateboarding too there's you know where they call it like a line where you do one trick and then another trick and generally your first trick is like not as hard as the second trick that type of thing so a little random analogy there but um for niagara i don't like for me when i'm looking at this i think of like the human aspect and the the other stuff like the filler and i think the filler stuff is really the strong stuff in this book in my opinion um again this is just my thoughts um but let's dive into it so i picked my five favorite photos and so the first one is an interesting one because um, I actually agree with him in his notes on the side over here. So this book, or this photo was in the actual book, Niagara. And then over here, he has this photo, which has a person looking on it. There's like a nice little zoom in thing there. It says, I prefer this one now. And when I saw this, I immediately was, I actually had a question to myself. I was like, how was that not chose originally because when i see that like i instantly would be like i, I would choose that like why why have this chosen originally so i was wondering maybe it's the truck in the corner he's not into maybe it's that maybe it's the extra space over here um but i don't know if maybe he didn't crop it this time i'm i'm not sure um but maybe just the simplicity of this one is what he was looking for at that time. You know, that's one thing with photography. Same thing with viewing photography. You can not really like something so much, and then you'll like something later. Um, like just like the, my thoughts on Niagara can change in 20 years. I can be like, what was I thinking back then? Um, so, but this one is this one is the awesome photo. But I still like this too. But this is I wanted to point this out. That's why I wanted to choose this so I can talk about that. The next one is. Um, two page. This one really uh, um, goes towards like the the vibe I bit, was having in the Eggleston series, where I was just really liking doors and windows. If there's something about it. This one isn't as much with that, but I love this lighting on this one. Just looks awesome. Um, this is just a cool photo in general. This one has a lot more of what I was talking about in the other series is there's a lot of questions. And that's something I really want to focus on with my own work is something to have you think and ask a question. This one's awesome. One, I love the two-tone lighting here. Um, the, the truck backed up with the random bag in the back at a hotel. It's just prime. Um, I love this, this like uh, curtain up here, the curtain, curtains and windows. You know, that just lately, that's just my vibe. This is this is a great one for sure. Um, so from here, yeah. So there's no page numbers in this, so I'm kind of having these marks. Here, is this heart? So th this project Niagara too. I, I want to talk about that. It's 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 basically about love and everything that comes with that, good and bad. And so um, one thing that happens when you photograph a project is you find signs and themes. So um, you know, there's a heart, you know, love, you know, love, you know, there's a lot, a lot of that in this book because that's where people like to go to, uh, get married is it in Niagara. Apparently it's a high, uh, suicide rate there as well. Um, I've, um, so that's, there's like that hand in hand thing. So this one is awesome just because it matches the project so well. And I love this find. It's so good. You know, it's, this is one of these things that you wish you could find just walking around, you know? I love this new newspaper one too over here. Um, I keep on looking over there because I'm like thinking there's page numbers, but there's not. I have these markings. <laughs> um, so, um, funny thing is, I was debating on two photos earlier, and I, I decided on one. And so this one, 
I do like it a lot. I just love how it says Joy's Divorce divorce Party Night. Like, that's rad. It makes sense with the project, obviously. Um, cool wall. I like the outlet here. This is a good one. I think for, I mean, I have no idea what's at the scene. I've talked about this with other photos from photographers. But um, as I wonder what this is like backed up just a little bit more. Like, just a little bit. But that's just preference. Who knows? It could be nothing good, so that's why it's like this. Or this is exactly how he wants, and that does, that's what that's the great thing. It doesn't matter because this is how he shot it. But I always I always like to think and question, so that's something. I would like just to kind of maybe get these not cut off, but I almost make I almost get why it's cut off too. But also like this over here, the probably divorced couple. I haven't read the notes on here, but you know, crossed off the face. You know, it's like a classic like movie movie vibe and um but yeah that's the top five of uh niagara that i chose um and i and how i want what i want to mention too with like the humans and the people in this compared to, to the filler that i mentioned earlier is um i think for the people in this and this is just my thoughts if i if i were taking photos if i was doing like, this is my my work and i'm taking photos right um i think it's good to think about this i think it's good to think like this when you're looking at photo books if you're a photographer as well because it makes you like when you're looking at a project you're like all right well i, I like this and, that, and that's the one thing i want to make perfectly clear is that when i'm things like you know with the, the photos and people in here that i'm not that into doesn't mean they're not good photos I'm just talking about what I would do. And so, but I think with this project, I would love to have photos of the people with more of a dispatch vibe. Um, I think, I, I don't know if it's because of the, the, the other type photos in this have a really good, um, uh, like, what am I thinking? Like, a a natural vibe. Like, I feel like this is like, here's a scene. You had the heart thing, the newspaper. You know, yeah, there's a, let me find a, maybe they're back. Yeah, there's like um, love notes in here. Like the scene, like, I feel like this is very like natural scenes. And then I think the portraits of people are um, a lot, like it's a different vibe. And this is, this is just me. I, it's just me looking at him. Um, again, not that it's good or bad, but for me, I think I would like to have more of a, I mean, not to say to like, just, I don't, and I'm not even saying have it uh, like unposed or whatever you want to call it. Like they could still be posed stuff, but I think like it may be more of a nat, like a natural environment pose, I guess. And, and we'll t we'll talk about that. We'll we'll compare that thought once we look at uh, his next book, and kind of what I'm talking about. And I could be completely wrong. I think it's just something I notice. Um, but I do really like this project because this has um, that theme that like that good story. There's a good story with this, and that's you know one thing that's awesome about Niagara. And I do recommend this book, um, not even just this one, but Niagara as well, um, if you are interested in seeing more of this. Um, that's one thing, um, when I do these projects, I want to for sure mention like where you can find these books. I know this is printed by MacBooks, and they they publish a lot more of his stuff, so definitely check out if you're interested in getting Niagara, or this one, this is, um, I don't think I even mentioned it at the beginning, this is Gathered Leaves, Spalik, so it's a lot of notes, this has, um, multiple projects in it, Sleeping by the Mississippi, Niagara, Broken Manual, which we talked about last week. If you haven't watched that, check that one out. Songbook and A Pound of Pictures. Um, I have the signed edition, which is really rad. And yeah, so that's my five favorite photos from Niagara. I'm gonna dive deep into this project a bit more too, read some of the love letters and the little notes and stuff like that. And um, kind of just uh, get more of a feel of this project. And like I mentioned, my thoughts can change over time on certain things. So who knows? Um, uh, again, classic Alexo stuff in here too. So um, 
I it was rambling a lot in the previous video that I'm not can't edit now about what I was going to do next, but now I know exactly what I'm going to do next. So, um, so obviously we just finished Niagara, and we're going to go back in time and go to Sleeping by the Mississippi. We're going to do the actual book of Sleeping by the Mississippi because I own that same thing with a pound of pictures. So we're going to go from Sleeping Mississippi, Sleeping by the Mississippi, um, a pound of pictures, and then from there we're actually going to do the whole Dispatch series, which that's what Songbook is made of. So Dispatch is seven separate newspapers of seven different states. We'll go through those, and then we'll cap it off with Songbook out of this. Mm -hmm. Since Songbook has the photos from the dispatch, I don't, I'm curious to see what kind of notes and stuff are put into this. I haven't even checked it out yet. And I'm actually going to save it for that and go over that as well at that time. And so maybe with that, um, since I picked five, since I will pick five of each dispatch, maybe we'll pick some random pages and just talk about some of the notes and stuff for Songbook. And but yeah, so we got like, what is that? One, two, uh, seven, yeah, nine, uh, nine more episodes. Elk so it's coming up. So hope you enjoyed it, and hope the sound sounded much better. Um, yeah, the what happened earlier is I set this all up, and my monitor, audio monitor thing was looking good, and just went for it. But I sounded like a chipmunk. <laughs> uh, I think it's because I just set up this new microphone system with uh, my computer here in OBS, which is what I run this on. And the computer just needed to restart it. I think there was just something, you know, I set it up and started recording, and I should have known better anyways. And, yeah, so here we are at the end of Niagara. Um, I'm still stoked to, look, stoked to look through it. And, you know, I love, my favorite, my favorite, though, was the truck. That's such a good photo. And that's one thing I want to mention as well. I have a lot of photo books that I like, and there's, like, you know, a handful full of photos that I like out of it. And that's one thing I wanted to, I can't stress enough that even though I'm not like that, you know, hip on to the people photos in Niagara compared to like the, the projects. I mean, in general, I guess, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to compare it to, but, um, it doesn't mean I don't like the photos in Niagara. There's a lot of photos in there. So, um, but yeah, uh, that's a wrap on Niagara and I should probably stop blabbing here after I recorded a second one of these. I've <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, if you want to support this channel even further, check out patreon.com slash bsmitty. There's exclusive content, bonus podcast episodes. I have a lot going on over there, and I'm going to be doing a pretty cool update here um, I, on YouTube and especially my website, bsmitty.com, and over on Instagram at ogbsmitty. I want to focus this... Just like going through this and, you know, going through Niagara tonight and like, you know, going through Broken Manual and just seeing the stuff like has really got me motivated for my own work and how I want to put out work going forward. Not just like digitally, but um, actual physical stuff. Cause I, this is actually my favorite, like just holding this book, uh, it makes me happy. <laughs> That's why I like when I talk about Niagara and like there's some photos I don't like, whoop-de-doo, there's some photos I don't like. There's some photos I don't like in every book, right? So um, just going through this is like um, very inspiring. It makes me want to have a lot more um, physical items available and actually um, have this idea. Um, I have some things coming in the mail um, tomorrow, today, whatever day um, that I'll be um, working on to do very, very, very affordable uh, prints mail to you. So that's the plan. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Anyways, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it. And next week we're going to go over uh, with uh, Sleeping by the Mississippi. Alex Oath continued on. Appreciate your support. And if you want to follow Alex Oath as well, he has, has has great content at Little Brown Mushroom, uh, Instagram. And, you, you know, I've, I've been slacking on TikTok, but honestly, I, I've kind of been down for a bit here. So I, I, I feel like I'm not on social media for a few days. I feel like I haven't done anything in a while. And I actually haven't done anything on Instagram in, I don't know, almost 20 days or 20 days. I don't know. Um, but I come back, I'm coming back with a vengeance, that's for sure, with these new plans and how I want to do things going forward. I've a lot of I've had a lot of time to think and think about photography and social media and the, everything like that as well. So anyways, you know me. Picking five photos has taken me like 20 minutes. 
even though I've already recorded one for 20 minutes, so it's 40 minutes, yeah, probably an hour when you really put it all together. Anyways, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.